Welcome back, YouTube. PPS here for our college basketball two spots of the day. I would have put this out about 15 minutes earlier, but I've had the hiccups this morning and it's been weird. I tried doing a video halfway through it and had to reset because um, it was just it was getting a little bit out of hand. I couldn't even I couldn't even post it. It was that bad. So um, have two spots for you today. Um, two lower conferences, not power five conferences. We're coming at you guys for some college basketball spots. I feel like these ones have the best value for today's um, slate for me, at least. First play is going to be Cornell facing off against Penn. We're going to the first half over 76. And Penn, not the the greatest team, right? Not the greatest um, top team in this conference, right? But Cornell obviously is. Cornell is fantastic. Offensively, they're a juggernaut. And in this conference, they're way at the top, right? They're, they're by far the number one team in the conference in terms of scoring. Um, Cornell is 24th in um, adjusted offense, 21st in a in adjusted tempo. Um, and obviously we go up against Penn today. They're a top 100 um, adjusted offense um, for um, the adjusted offense for on Ken Palm, but they're a little bit slower. But I think when we have seen these two teams match up, Penn starts to push a little bit more into the Cornell pace here. Um, we we watched their first matchup so far this year, um, and it was it was a decent game, right? Eighty eight sixty nine, and that was at Cornell. Obviously, that's a tough environment to play in. Um, there, we obviously seen this number get beat. They had seventy eight first half points. Um, and what I do really like about Cornell is just their three point shooting, their depth. Penn does have Dingle, who's an absolute stud. So I think that both sides of the ball, uh, both both offenses are obviously much better than both opposing defenses. Um, like I said, with Penn, 238 in adjusted defense. And then we head over to Cornell, 274 in adjusted defense, both top 100 adjusted offenses. So I think both sides are going to have the advantage on the fr on the offensive side of the, uh, of the ball. Um, defense is a little bit suspect on both sides. So I think we get the Cornell pace to come through here. Like I said, in their first matchup, it was very, very nice in terms of pace, um, seeing almost – um, 70 possessions in that game. So that's obviously a top 50 pace in the country if we go from there. So if we can get Cornell to continue to hold this pace and keep Penn moving um, at their style of play, I think that Cornell is going to get this number. I think they're going to hit that team total as well. I really like this game, um, but I really like how this game is close, right? It's a one point spread. Um, Penn's got something to prove. Penn's got to come out and, and be able to score. They only scored 69 points in their first matchup. Um, that's not going to work when you play a team like Cornell who just put up 88 on you um, at their home play. So really like this spot. I think Cornell continues um, to be the top first half scoring team. And uh, in this type of a matchup, I think it's going to be a fun one um, to watch and uh, be a part of here um, in this conference in the Ivy League. One of the better ones that you're going to get. So, all righty, we're going to our second play. This team burned us last time, but we're going right back to it. I'm going to Pepperdine. They're facing off against Portland, and this is going to be an over spot here. 157 and a half. Um, it is now minus 112 on FanDuel. Um, I will pull up the, the stuff right now to get that up for you. But Portland, they're they are not good, guys. They're not good. They're 0-10 in conference. Um, like I said, minus 112 here. They're 0-12 in conference, but we, we love smashing overs on Pepperdine, dude. Pepperdine plays at such an elite speed, right? They're ninth in the country in uh, pace. Portland, not too far behind, right? We still got a top 100 pace team here. Top 100 adjusted offense, 93 for Portland um, and 76 in adjusted tempo. And then we go over to Pepperdine, um, who's just middling across the board, 190 offense, 190 defense. So, this pace is crazy, right? We love watching Pepperdine play because it just goes up and down, back and forth. Um, we saw a 167 um, number go up in their first matchup. Um, what I do really like about this game, too, is when we go into Pepperdine, they can't guard the three-point ball, right? That's They really struggle with that. They foul a lot. 20 free throws um, attempted per game against them for Pepperdine. And then Portland... Um, obviously they're, they're middling of the pack in that too. They're pretty much middle across the board. Um, uh, Pepperdine is because obviously they're 
pretty bad for this conference. They're 0-10 in conference. So um, I just really like the pace. I really like the inability to guard the three-point ball on both sides. Um, and if you go to just who who they have on their roster, right, we go to Pepperdine. Maxwell Lewis is obviously their number one guy. He's been a stud, 20-point game in their first matchup. Um, he's obviously the the motor of this team. But they also have three other guys, Mitchell, Millette, and Porter, who just score in double figures all of them 35 plus percent from three you go over to the other side three to 10 point scorers there as well all of those guys can shoot um we have moses wood their number one guy shooting 40 percent from three i think that's going to be a really important factor in this game i also really like um the ability for these guys to shoot free throws like i said we have lewis and Millette, the top two scorers 80 and 70 85 and 79 percent from the free throw line respectfully and then 85 percent for wood and 80 percent for the two other guys in their top spots. I think this is going to be a ball game here. I really like this spot for, for both teams. Obviously we're only seeing a one and a half point spread. If we stay close, I like that both teams have their top players being able to finish games in terms of free throws. Um, we've seen these games come down to the stretch. You could be off this number by 15 with like three minutes left. And these games just, I feel like go on forever down the stretch with fouls and, uh, just a long game down the end, which we like, right? We like those fouls for overs. Um, and we've been on Pepperdine enough to see a lot of these endings. And if it's close, Pepperdine's going to foul and they're going to find a way um, to extend the game. And obviously with both teams having guys who have the ability to finish games, I think that this is a great spot here too. So really like Pepperdine over 157 and a half Cornell. Um, that is over 76. That is on DraftKings only. I think it's 76 and a half. Um, over on FanDuel. I want to make sure you guys see that. 76 right here. I know I forgot to, to put that up for you guys earlier, but love both spots. Hoping you guys are riding with me today. Obviously, yesterday was great, but let's make today just as good. So have a good one, guys. Best of luck today, and uh, let's crush this huge